Hey guys, what's up? Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm Frank, and uh, I am sitting in a rental car in the middle of New Jersey along the coast. Hey, look, seagulls. And uh, I was actually in New, New Jersey, New York for Anime New York. Uh, it was a really cool Comic-Con type thing at the Javits Center. And there's a video coming out about that. Um, it was actually supposed to come out today. It was supposed to be in place of this video, and it will be out eventually. But I think there's a more important video I need to put out there and it's one I've wanted to make for a while um, I don't know if I was I can't I can't say there's a right time to make this video that that sounds cold and mean I guess the catalyst for this video and me really really feeling I need to talk about this um, for those of you that don't know uh, this past weekend uh, Jason David Frank the original Green Ranger White Ranger uh, Red Zeo Ranger uh, Lord Draken He's a, the most popular Power Ranger ever. Um, a lot of you may not even know his name. You know him as Tommy. You'd probably recognize him if you saw him. And he makes tons of appearances through other Power Rangers um, series and you know seasons. Uh, he took his life this weekend. And for those of you that don't know, I'm a huge Power Rangers fan. I grew up with it, like a lot of 90s kids. Uh, the original Power Rangers, the Tommy Oliver. And... I've talked about him in videos. I've talked about Power Rangers in videos. I've met a few of them at cons, and unfortunately, I never had the chance to meet him. But while I didn't meet him directly, uh, my friend Chris actually, uh, a little over a year ago, almost two years ago now, actually got me a cameo video by Jason David Frank, congratulating me about uh, YouTube and 3D printing. And uh, let me just let me just play it actually. Hey Frank, what is happening, buddy? It is Jason David Frank. Oh, I love that. That rings, rhymes. Anyway, uh, I'm the Green Ranger, White Ranger, Red Zeo, Red Turbo, Black Dino Thunder. And now I have a brand new movie. And listen, I understand that you do 3D printing, Iron Man cosplay. Thank you for all that. I'm sure everyone enjoys it. So look, this is the Legend of the White Dragon Helmet, Frank. Maybe one day you could do some three, 3D printing for me. That would be amazing. I know you're working very hard on your YouTube brand um, for the last year and a half. And listen, the advice I can give you is be happy for every fan that you have. It is super hard to build anything nowadays because when this virus hit, like everyone wants to do social media, everyone wants to do YouTube, and you just keep it up, man. And I'll tell you what it's gonna make. Consistency is the key. You know what I mean? And you're gonna make a lot of people happy, man. I know you have... Uh, you know, like I said, you cosplay. How many kids have you made happy? How many adults have you made happy? So feel free to put this on your YouTube channel. What's up, everyone? If you are watching this, this is Frank YouTube channel right now. And uh, give him some likes below. This is JDF, the Green Ranger here. He's got an awesome YouTube channel. And uh, he does 3D printing and he does Iron Man cosplay. So you better uh, click that like down there because you know what time it is. It's morphin' time. All right, buddy. Chris wanted me to tell you congratulations on everything you do and you're working very hard. All right, take care, man, and maybe I'll see you on YouTube. See you, buddy. Now, for those of you that don't know what Cameo is, you pay actors or you know celebrities of some type to send messages to people. Now, Chris didn't give him a script. Chris wasn't like, say these specific things. It was more of a like, hey, these, this is his name, he, there's, these are his interests, all that fun stuff. It's not really about that video though. Um, it was a really nice thing that he did for me and uh, I will hold that video a lot closer to my heart now. It was really cool. And I wish I had posted it sooner. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about is uh, a human's gone. Um, a, a dad, a father, uh, a friend, a husband, he, he's gone. Um, and while no, I haven't been able to find any completely official reports yet. Everything is still seemingly speculation, but from what I'm gathering on the internet, it was suicide. Having known people who have taken their lives, having known people who have been in the worst states possible, depression, sadness, um, I still hold close to my heart that it's preventable. And that's what I want to talk about in this video is talking about it making it okay to talk about it. Um, this isn't a video about Jason David Frank. Um, he will be missed, I, I'm sure. Um, the Ranger community is in absolute shambles and mourning right now, um, and uh, my heart goes out to all of them. Um, but I wanna talk about depression, and I have a platform, I have followers, I have subscribers, I have an audience, and 
to not talk about this type of stuff, I feel is irresponsible. Um, everybody gets stressed. Everybody gets sad. And one thing I think is not talked about a lot is that's okay. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be depressed. It's okay to feel um, overwhelming sadness and frustration. And it's okay to be in these places. Um, never let anybody tell you it's weird or wrong to be sad. Those are all emotions. Those are all feelings. Um, being a YouTuber, being in the military, being, being a human being on planet Earth, I've gotten stressed. I have been... I have gone through some stressful things, um, and I've gotten help for that. And people need to talk about that more. I have, I've talked to therapists. I've gone to therapy um, in the military. <laughs> it's called mental health. Awful name for a department because it has a really negative connotation and feeling about it. Um, but if you're in the military, don't be afraid to go talk to somebody. When I lost my dad, and uh, you know, when when my my dad when my dad died, I wasn't in a good place. I needed to talk to somebody about that. And that's normal. That's okay. Um, was it a fix all pill? Did I go one time? The therapist said, yep, um, your dad's passed, but um, you're going to be okay. And I walked out okay. That's, that's, not, that's not how it happens. It's work. Um, it's work and you need to put in the work to do it. And it's scary, but you need to talk about it. You need to talk about these feelings. You need to talk about these dark feelings because if you bottle them up inside if you hide them thinking they're just gonna go away they're not um, and I mean history shows that uh, the happiest people sometimes have some of the darkest kind of skeletons in their closet um, I mean Robin Williams for one he's a really good uh, I don't want to say I don't want to say good example but I mean it's, it was Robin Williams but you know you never know and you never know what somebody's going through you never know how bad it is so I also caution those who have somebody coming to them for help who have somebody approach them saying they are in a bad place careful about how you try to relate it to your own problems because sometimes people just want to talk sometimes people don't want things to be justified back to them sometimes people just want to express their feelings and emotions and have you sit there in those emotions with them. And sometimes that's more important than trying to make sense of it. Sometimes it's not that point in time where you need to make sense of it for them. That's not what they're looking for. They're looking for somebody to listen. So if you are approached by somebody who is having bad so thoughts, sad thoughts, listen. Don't try to fix it. You're not going to fix it. I promise you, you're not just going to snap your fingers and fix it. As amazing as that would be, I wish it was that easy. I wish there was a cure-all pill, though it would probably have horrible side effects like every other pill. Um, there's no good fix to it, but it starts with steps. It starts with talking to people. It starts with getting help. Um, it's all about getting help and talking. So if you've made it this far in this video, and I really do hope you have, I would like to request two things from you, my, my audience. Um, and maybe even people who just made their way to this video. Um, I'm still not even sure what I'm going to title it because I don't want it to be clickbaity, but I want people to see this. I think this is important. Um, I, the last thing I've ever tried to do on my YouTube channel and Instagram or whatever social media you found me on is why, um, I am a human. Every content creator out there you see is a human and they have feelings and emotions and they go through stuff. So I never want to paint this perfect picture. Like everything in my life is amazing and dandy. It's not I go through hard times too so what I would like you guys to do is leave a resource down below a comment please um, this video is not monetized I'm not pushing it in that sense leave a comment if it's a local state hotline that you might have used or you know about um, drop the phone number down below drop a website down below if you're in another country comment a resource that somebody could use if they're in a dark place a phone number, a website, a helpline, anything. And I'm going to do my best to leave in the description um, a, a bunch of places you can go, online places, places that I know are trusted and you know vetted. Um, I'm, it's not just going to be a Google search in the first results that there usually ads, but I would really appreciate it if you guys left those type of comments down below. So anybody else watching this video um, can scroll right down 
boom, here's one, a suicide hotline or prevention or better help, something. I really like that to be the comment. Second, if you yourself were in a dark place, if you yourself have a story you want to share, want to share and are comfortable, and are comfortable sharing that, leave that too. I would like you to leave that below the comment you made about a resource or link. Um, I, that would that would mean a lot to me because um, I don't think we should ever gloss over this type of stuff. Um, I don't think we should ever brush it under the rug. That's not the way to fix this. Um, and uh, hopefully, hopefully help somebody. Um, you, you're not alone. I, I promise you. Promise you. You're not alone. And losing somebody like that. It's preventable. It is. It's preventable. Up until the, the moment they are thinking about it, about to do it, whatever thing has led them there, it can still be stopped. Things can be undone. Things can be fixed. It is preventable. Um, the world can kind of be a little bit of a rough place nowadays. Um, I, I think the internet's made a lot of things better, but at the same time, it can make a lot of things worse. Um, cyberbullying, um, unrealistic expectations and all of this stuff. And you see people online living amazing lives and we're showing you what we want to show you. And you have to remember that if you're a kid, if you're a child, if you're in school, I don't want to hit you with the, uh, um, Oh, stick it out. It'll get better. While yeah, it usually will get better. That doesn't do anything to cure the feelings you're having in that moment. I, I hate that. I hate that answer. I hate that answer that parents give kids. I, I, it's not the right answer. If you're having trouble in school, if you're sad, if you're depressed, if you're frustrated, a simple, it'll get better. It's not the end. It, it does, it does nothing for the moment you're living in right there. Um, so you need to talk to people. Um, you need to get help. You need to interact. You need to speak up. Um, if, again, if you're in the military, talk to mental health, talk to family advocacy. I have done it plenty of times and it has helped me. Uh, and if you're in the military, it's free. Go, go, go. You know, um, that can be a whole other world and dimension. Uh, I, God, I could be make a whole video about that. Um, but there's tons of resources online now. It has connected people, um, hobbies, finding a hobby, making, uh, make, uh, growing in a community, finding a community, um, Facebook, Reddit, clubs, websites. There's tons of ways to connect with people. Um, and they don't need to know what you're going through if you don't want to tell them. But, you know, just finding more human connections can really go a long, long way. Um, I know for a lot of you, 3D printing and cosplay is that outlet. It's that way to express yourself. It's that way to make friends. Um, and it has, it has helped me in so many ways. And uh, I personally know it's helped a lot of you because you've told me. And that means so much to me. You cannot imagine. Um, so... Like I said, please leave some type of resource down below. Um, I'm going to share this video. I'm going to, if you could share this video too, I didn't even think about that, duh. Um, send this video to a friend. Send this uh, a video to somebody who you might, I don't know, it might help, or at least the resources down below. Um, but I just, I wanna say thank you if you've made it this far. I'm so sorry for rambling. Um, but if it helps literally one of you, any of you, um, it was worth me making this video. So, um, yep. Thanks, guys.